off this. So in this cook-off process, we're kind of prepping it for the vinegar to break down all that calcium and off-gas CO2 and bind that into a water-soluble form of calcium. It then is immediately available to the plants. Whereas if we just scattered this egg shell out there right now, the microbes would have to do that to make their own vinegars. And it's not nearly as concentrated or as potent as we're able to do in this mimicry system. I was saying this takes about 45 minutes in one of the product here and now we're ready to take this, remove it from the heat and put it into our jar. Eggs all cooked in here. We got some rice wine vinegar. Oh, you can also do this with banana vinegar. It's easier to make at home. Uh, this is a brand new bottle. All this stuff. Um, should definitely be making our own. And as I add this in. this in a big gallon container because if you do it in a smaller container it'll bubble over the top like an erupting volcano and so we don't want that to happen here so we have a good job and the ideal ratio here is 10 parts or one part of the eggshells being weighed to 10 parts of this volume by by um, so weight to volume, one part eggs to ten parts vinegar is the ideal ratio for this. But if you miss the ratio, you can add more vinegar later. It's not a big deal to get it all right at first. But if you look in there, especially as I stir it around, you'll see it's just really... Um, it should be vigorous bubbling coming out of there. And those bubbles are CO2 releasing off the calcium carbonate and freeing the calcium up to now become water soluble. So all this air, we could put a little thing up here and get a bunch of CO2 off this if we wanted to. But that's the reaction that's happening there. Where's that rice bit? And this, uh, this is going to be used half. This material here, um, the water soluble part, uh, is really important during the reproductive stage of the plant. Okay. It helps to transfer all the nutrients the plants acquired from the sun over its growing cycle and transport those and aggregate them into the plants, or into the fruits. Uh -huh. so, when that, so this is fruit food? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, it helps to harden, and it also helps to harden things off, because the calcium, you know, just like our bones kind of give us structure. When we apply that to the plant, it also helps it uh, maintain structure. Maintain like the cell walls? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and our soils out here are notoriously lacking in calcium, so people tend to lime their soils. But in this case, uh, we're using the microbes in the soils and just trying to feed calcium directly to the plant. A um, you know, little shortcut the thing there, and then eventually the microbes will build up more calcium in the soil via their um, just their shells and things.
make LAB, we're going to finish flying off our Alright, so we're going to make LAB, we're going to finish flying off our um, calcium solution here. So, let me figure out a way. So, you can see that our water soluble calcium is no longer bubbling. It looks like that we could add way more vinegar to this solution though, um, because it's still not, uh, you know, but there's still a lot of eggshells. So I'm going to pour it off through this nice little filter here.